<laughs> Melbourne United were real frustrated after that performance. They were a credit to so the way they played, and it came out as we see Damian Martin, his streak go wide. We'll focus on the game for the moment as Tariko has it to Damien Martin. Great pass inside. Froling just a little late. A little pump fake from Kay was good. Got the two and he'll go to the line. Well, I like what Ramon Moore did it there as well. Just deny Cotton the basketball. Make Greg Hire bring the ball up. They couldn't get into their offense. They're still able to find Tom Jervis for an easy one underneath. They really need to put a plug on that, Wildcats. Tariko White will go up against Wiley. He was sent down, but he hit a really big two points for his team. 15 points the margin. He's out to 16 a few moments ago. Here's Kay. Needs to get going, and he does. Nick Kay, the sky hook is nice. He's in the double figures with 12. They leave him open. He decides to pass. It was a good option. And Brandt finally gets two points to his name late in the second quarter. Well, overall. It's called Wildcats. They're trying to get the ball into the post, but he's got the leading scorer in the competition. Got to go to him. Branch. And there with the boards. The Cats with a chance. Tariko's there. The pass is firm. Tariko has to run under the hoop and score a two. Great patience there by Sobey. Just, you know, just waiting, waiting for that opening. And then took it. There's Cotton. Racing to the hoop for two. Cotton again, the pass good to Hire. He was under pressure, it rattles around, he gets the two. Here's Cotton, Froling can't get to him. Cotton scores a three. Listen to the roar. 14 points and seven boards. Cotton falls over again, he's doing that a fair bit. Passes good to Whites, and Whites will splash it. 18 for Trimmick, 14 for Kay. And Daniel Johnson leads all scorers with 19 as Wagstaff scores the two and draws the foul. He wants to have a chat. Of course, I did mention could this be the last quarter for the Adelaide 36ers. The Cats in the hands of Martin. They left Steindl free. That's dangerous. Real dangerous. Pass is good to Martin. Brand. And a delay of game warning for the Wildcats. We're all tied up. Double team nearly there. Decides to go one-on-one -on -one with Sobey. Crossover, far too good. Two points for Bryce. That is an incredible move right there. The game doesn't mean something to these two teams. I mean, the whistle had blown as we see Bryce Cotton. I mean, that almost went over the backboard. But you go back. For the crossover, I mean, that is just so tough. But Drimmick. Looking inside, doesn't go. Four on the shot clock. Cotton has to wield some magic. He does from the foul line. Two points and then swept in for a foul. I think it goes against Wiley, maybe. And then maybe we'll try and shut him down because he is just a second half player. Oh, Big time Drimmick. shot. Drimmick was the defender. on the shot clock, they'll give it back to him and he'll have to go to work with five. Decides to shoot, he was leaning back. The magician hits the three. There it is again. He was fading away. Wiley did a great job to just be there, to put enough pressure on. Come on, he has to go on. He has come to play.